What's up guys? It's Osiris and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Tom Envelopes. So I'm just going to take a look at this mix and see why it's necessary to set envelopes on your Toms. You hear that sub sound? That's your Tom decay. And if you don't shape your Tom well, the decay of your tom just clashes with the rest of your sound. And we can just like use an EQ to roll off the lows on your tom because the low end gives the tom so much character. And all you have to do is shape your tom with an envelope. This is without the envelope. And this is with the envelope. So you hear the difference. So what's causing this is the release and decay time. You have to bring down the release and decay time to really cut off that tail on your tom. And if I play back in the mix, that tail that carries lots of low frequency doesn't clash with the bass and the kick. Without the envelope. With the envelope. So your mix sounds clean if you use an envelope on your tom. That's one secret to mixing your toms with other instruments in your sound. So most toms have have a very long tail, and if you don't mix them properly, it's just going to clash with any other sound that comes in after your tom is played. So that's another example to show. If the decay, if the envelope was off here, you see how it clashes so much with the next element that plays after the tom is played. And with the envelope set. So that will be all for today, guys. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. Or message me on Instagram. All my social links are down in the description box below. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you learned something from this video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, guys, peace.